Hello everyone, this is Mr. Steinberg here, and we're going to continue reading Even Monsters Can Love, Chapter 2. But before we get started, please hit that like button, comment, and subscribe to this channel if you guys want more creepy pasta fanfictions out there. Until then, let's get started. Ms. Eva, please come to the office, a school speaker said in the intercom of the room. I was currently in science class, bored out of my mind and in this until I was learning about what kind of ecosystems they are and how it is in a circle or cycle. So what if one species of animals goes missing and disturbs the whole ecosystem? Normally it would have been interesting to me, but it was different. How was it different? species, a hardly ability to adapt to a different surround ecosystem, but not this time. This science class I had in the morning, and what's worse, I had to have the worst boring sub ever. His name was Mr. L Lovin? Weird name, right? He was strict Cold, strict cold crow as he was much as a chat one of a little kid chewing gum or talking they would get whacked in the head with a large ruler. Talk about old fashioned. I grabbed my books off the light colored when my colored wood of the desk. I got through glares from Trish, Abby and her gang. She had a broken nose, multiple ribs and she had a few cuts on her flawless skin which i'm no doubt would leave scars little bitch deserved it but i grew more confused that frowning bruised lip of hers grew into a smile she was up to something i knew it i can feel it in my gut the way she smiled i growled at her and quickly laughed leaving the slut and her of uh, a brunette she was always a pain, even at school when I got back. She had a huge crown around her, wondering if she was alright or what happened. Growling at the memory, she pointed at me and sneered, Monster, demon. It hurt, no lie. I think called that by my own mother once. It was a very heated argument as she was so angry at me for sneaking out of the house to go walking. It ended her taking my laptop, my precious laptop, not letting me have it for three weeks. I was so angry at her. I sighed and stood in front of a brown, white door. I'd rather have it black, but hey, not my fucking school. I opened the door. I looked to see a very annoyed Mr. Granger, the security guard of our school, and Mr. Weather, the principal. We need to talk to my office now, Eva. He demanded. It was clear that he was pissed off. Just a fun fan fucking tastic. More bullshit to deal with, as if I have enough on my plate already. Fuck up my life. I grumbled and followed the tall man into his office. He had white hair coming out of his white hair combed back, white beard at the end of the collar of his neck. Hmm. He wore a brown suit. That made him look very slim and professional. A gray tie around his neck, even though he could be more complete jerk at some times. He sat down in his black chair across from me. I set my books on the tan chair. Then I sat them across from him. Do you know why you're here, Eva? He asked in a stern and his eyes narrowed. I glared back at him. I shook my head. I honestly have no clue, care less why I was here in the in the first place. But I am hinting the feeling why as why, Trish. I growled and he went on. We have received information that you burly harmed a student, he said. I sneered and let out. Let me guess, Trish. He was silent for a second before nodding. She lied. Whatever she told you, she lied. I yelled at him, my anger boiling inside me. I was now realizing that she, why she was smiling in class. She knew that it was going to happen. She knew where, where I was going to get into this shit. I'm afraid I'm going to have 
to suspend you for a month, Ava. He said, crossing his legs. My mouth must have been gapping open at this unright punishment. He, she, no. Why are you suspending me? She started it all. I yelled at him, anger lacing every word. As my hands bowled into fists, I don't care, Ava. Trish shown the proof enough. Now pack your bags and head home, he ordered. I let out a growl and went to my locker. My mom is not going to like this.